welcome once again to another episode of the Hundred Proof Show. I am the real Charlemagne. To my left, my friendly neighborhood, Kev Lawrence. Yeah. And where you be at, my man? I be on my couch though. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we are the place for music, sports, arts, and culture, and we just happen to have with us today, Isis Jada. Hello, thank you. Welcome for to the me. show. Welcome thank to the you show. so much. I'm happy to be here. Wait, wait, right. did, you, you got the name. You got yeah, it. of course. I'm a professional. Oh. <laughs> the name, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the reason why we have her here, she just had a film premiere, and it's amazing. I, mean, I just saw the trailer. Looks very good. Isis, would you tell us a little more about it? Sure. Um, the name of my show is Mob Mentality. It's a show about a guy named Carmine who gets released from federal prison. After getting released, he sets out to rebuild his life, but a series of events derail his plans and he's thrust into a life of crime. Essentially, he's living a dual life. He's a school psychologist by day and criminal by night. I'm working on a few things for you. I'm gonna get you all squared away. You know, you don't look bad for a guy that just did eight years in the can. You look like shit. <laughs> what does this say, Pa? My best. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, son. Talking helps. And you're here because you don't talk. You just react. Fucking get him! There's something about this guy. He's not right. I think he's hiding something. And thank you for being so understanding. Keep up the great work, because the kids really love you here. Who? Don Revlon over there? I just got better hair than my fucking wife. Try again when you get a new pair of shoes, Fabio. Now get lost. You white boys been watching Goodfellas for too damn long. And you should have been watching Hood. Yeah. Next time this punk says something to you, bang! Lights out, Larry. Got it? Wow. Where did you learn how to do that? College. That is a that was like a great synopsis. You that, that was great the way you just did that. <laughs> Thank you. I have that memorized. Oh, okay, okay. That's right. It'll work for me. No work for me. Now before we move forward, let's work backward. Sure. How did you get into film? How did I get into film? Well, I've always been a writer. Um, I have a journalism degree. I have a law degree and I have been writing screenplays for a long time. And then about five years ago, after I graduated from law school, I decided to try to write the next great American mob show. Okay. So from my sister's bedroom in Edison, New Jersey, I wrote the pilot script for Mob Mentality in three days. Okay, did you study, did you read about it or did, was it self-taught? Uh, self-taught, I just read a few books. Um, when I was 18, I took a screenwriting workshop, but really had never done anything like that again. And I really was just self-taught, I just read a book. And I said, OK, I think I understand how to do this. Now. What were some of the books you read that helped give you like a uh, reference? Yeah, sure. The main one I read, um, which I just referred to someone, is um, Writing the Pilot by Joel Rapkin. It's a short read. It's like 150 pages. You can get it on Amazon for about $12. And again, it's called Writing the Pilot by Joel Rapkin. And it's a great book. Really excellent, great. excellent. Um, well, again, like I said, we always work forward and backwards. Yeah. But where are you from? Where did you, where you, where you Well, I grew up in the Bronx, uh, but my family. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> X in the building. The X in the building. Let's go. All right. Good time. Good company, man. Absolutely. Um, grew up in the Bronx, co-op city, um, but my family from ah. Ghana in West Africa. So. Oh, wow. Ghana okay. to the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was there two years ago. It was an amazing place. Excellent. Excellent. Now, now movies. Are not a cheap endeavor. They are not. Now, hold, 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 on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When we saw the trailer mm -hmm. off top, yes. I said, okay, that's at least 250. <laughs> that's at least 250. That was an educated guess. And I don't mean 250. Yes. I mean, yeah. I was, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, so it's a TV show, and those are not uh, cheap either. Right, right. <laughs> TV so, series. Well, um, I, it, it has a movie feel to it. It does, because so I am I'll a lover that. of yeah. movies, so I uh, wanted absolutely. to make it look like a film. Yeah, so it has a movie yep. feel to like it. Like the cinematography. Um, yes. How did you get to funding that film? Uh, I used my own money, so I... Uh, whoa, 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 Are you an African princess? What's going on? Whoa. <laughs> no. Whoa, I mean... whoa, we need some bells to go off right here. <laughs> you know what? Praises to you. Praises to you. People have no idea 
people have no idea what it takes to fund yeah. a film. Yeah. They'll see a film like, well, I go buy a camera from you know a store, right? And that's it. No, yeah. everything comes into play: location, yeah. permits. Mm -hmm. Even if you're doing guerrilla style, yeah, still location, permits of people that live in the area, right? Uh, yep. Travel expense. Yes. Uh, yeah. Food? Yes. People must be fed. Oh, yes. Or they'll become very upset. Right. <laughs> yes. Access, everything yeah. comes into play. Everything. everything. What made you uh, not want to get alone? Uh, At first, I say. Because I like to be in control of my own destiny. And I'm not taking money from anyone. Ooh. For a simple reason. Uh, when I go to sit at the table to make whatever deal it is I want to make, I want to be able to make it and not be in debt to anyone. <laughs> Running in my veins, okay. runway yeah. lyrics take flight like plane. I'm soaring by, I'm high in his presence. My name not John, but you can call me a legend. But I'm not ordinary. These flows stay permanent, fam. So far from temporary. Feel so good, had to put it on repeat. Bumping in the boombox like Radio Raheem. No hate here, just love everybody. This is good life, all around everybody. Yeah, a place where rumors is heard no more. So we out here at Mother's. Look at her. Look at her. There's a homegirl right here. Good. And shout out to our lady right here. How you doing, man? Hi. Right, we just saying hi. All my people back home to see you. It's our security right here. She makes sure we good here at Mother's. I like to say thank you to this young lady right here holding us down the door. See the door? She don't let that door. She ain't let nobody in. Nobody in. See that? See that? See that? See that piss? <laughs> She played no game. That's why I walked out. Look at she walking out. Like, no game. Look at her. I'm just happy to be down here in New Orleans. I'm about to eat some food. I should eat. First of all, it's her fault. Though. Her fault. Shout out to um, Lee Song, the brat. I'll be on my couch, though. So I nah. took 250K of mm -hmm. my own savings um, to fund it, and then I got a $100,000 angel gift. So, angel oh, gift? Yeah. Where's that angel at? <laughs> angel, a angel? And I'll tell you the story of how I got I got a whole lot of demons <laughs> in the neighborhood. I need an angel some angels out here. <laughs> what angel is that? <laughs> she says she's going to tell the story. Let's uh -huh. go ahead. Sit back so, and listen to uh, this one. In 2018, I, uh, on Thanksgiving, I decided to volunteer um, at a church because I hadn't done it in years. And I just said, you know what, this Thanksgiving I want to volunteer. So I went to the church and I was there and the place was packed and we, we were helping to uh, make meals for the homeless. And we were in a very long line and there was a gentleman standing behind me. And you know, you make conversations. So he said, well, what do you do? And I said, oh, I'm a filmmaker. And he said, oh, well, wh what are you making? I said, well, I'm making a TV show. And he said, what, it, what's it, what is it about? And I said, it's a mob show. And, you know, I've made the next great American mob show. And he said, well, I had a run-in with the mob. So that's when we just started talking. And he was a little old man. And he said, well, do you have anything you can show me? And I showed him my old trailer. Right. And he said, wow, this is amazing. So we exchanged information. And he said, I'd love to hear more about your show. But I didn't think anything of it because, right. you know, people say that all the time. So a few weeks later, he contacted me and said, hey, could you, like, pitch your show to me? And of course I can pitch my show to you. Right. So we met for lunch. I pitched a show to him. Again, I didn't think anything of it. I didn't hear from him for a few weeks. And then about... Four weeks later, he contacted me. He said, you know, Isis, I was thinking about your show and what you're doing. And um, I'm, I'm sure you could use a little funding to get it completed. And I said, oh, surely, definitely. 
Um, and he said, how are you finding it now? And I said, you know, completely out of my own pocket. And that's why it's taking so long. It's been right. a two-year process. And he said, well, I'm going to give you a donation that you can use for funding. And I said, well, thank you very much. And then when he told me $100,000, I almost fell off my chair. Mr. Ponte, this hearing is to evaluate whether you meet the state licensure requirements to practice as a licensed psychologist in the state of New York. The board has reviewed your application. We have some concerns. Sit down, Mr. Ponte. You'll get your turn. This place brings back memories, huh? He wants her to kick me out because I like dicks instead of chicks. I'll give you my call. If Jesse uh. likes dicks over chicks, that's his business, cocksucker. Hey, uh. Sonny. What's wrong? You post that video, Sonny? I'll put your head through the fucking wall. Oh! Come on. What is your five-year plan? Five-year plan? Five year plan? Well, fuck Halle Berry. Why, right, what's yours? I'm going to church. <laughs> now. Tomorrow, now. the day after, the day after that, and then I'm going on, to you, church. You brought up a very important point, which I want <laughs> to get across to the audience. I think about Hold on, let me get this across to the audience before we move on. 100 proof. Let me make sure you understand that. You see what happened with her? Hmm. That's in service of others. Something just became of that. That's true. So just know that. In service of others, <laughs> something can happen. Something can happen. It's yeah. going to be so much volunteers <laughs> now. Under proof. Just so many volunteers. <laughs> so many volunteers. Look at me. <laughs> I'm feeding my, my friend. <laughs> I'm feeding my friend. But wait, wait, wait. I need 150K. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. There's something else that we didn't realize. You, you're doing a mob mentality? Yeah. A mob show. Uh, of what kind of people? Uh, it's an Italian mob. Show. Okay, okay, I'll start right there. Start right there. <laughs> Italian mob, and uh, you. I don't know if you, you know this, but you're, you're a black <laughs> woman. That's true. I am a black woman. <laughs> Just, have Have you been? Do approached? people look at you like you're? Like, what you're, do you know about silly? a mob movie? Like, yes, exactly. they do they even do. take you seriously? You know, like uh, mob TV series. Right. So I, I wasn't over the two year period. I wasn't really taken seriously. Um, a lot of the time, and I noticed it, but I never really uh, paid much attention to it. I kind of just kept my head down and kept working because one thing that I know with my background is that the work speaks for itself. Uh -huh. So, um, like I tell people, if you're a photographer, if you're a good photographer, you can shoot anyone. And if you're a good writer, you can write anyone's story. And I say so that I'm not because thing. I'm saying because, you know, you're a woman and shit. No, it's because they, look, they may look at us like, you know, if we're not of them, I was about to say that. I think even if you well, were a think, male making right. that movie, well, right. I think, I think in general, most writers write from their own perspective, which tends to be their own race, because think about it, it's the easiest, right? right. If I'm a white female, I'm probably going to write from that perspective. Yeah. White male, black male. White. So it, it just is common. It's not strange. So when you go outside of that and you write a story that's completely outside of your culture, I think it's surprising to people. I don't think that they're necessarily skeptical of you, but I just think they're surprised. Right. And some are skeptical because they want to see if it's authentic. And I think exactly. when I people to started you... to see the trailers and the script, they realized, and they would many many would ask me, who who helped you with this? Who helped you write this? Yeah. Do the trailer's you know awesome, anybody by the way. Mob? Thank you so much. No, it really is. Thank it's you. It's awesome. Thank you. And it it's very, uh, I don't want to say relatable, because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a mob, but it's very believable. Yeah. Well, that, that, that was my next question, though, because yeah. as anybody from the Italian culture or even somebody from the mob approaches right. me like, yo, this is good or... Uh, or some maybe people like... have said, yes, this is good. Yes, I won't go any further. You said some. So what, what has the other people have this? Have they, have they got upset with you because you're doing it? No. And how dare you? Uh, no, they were just kind of surprised uh, when they heard my name and then when they found out who I was and my my background, they were just kind of like, oh, <laughs> like because it's, it's, I think it is a little surprising. You wouldn't think that I would write an Italian mob show. Probably they might think I might write a mob show about maybe the black mobs or gangsters or stuff. But I like to be outside of the box. I don't like to do what people expect me to do. What made me want to DJ is I've always been in love with the music 
since being a child. I've always been the first person to download all music, always been the first person to want to get everything new and admired people and every artist and what they do with their craft. So it just naturally became that I just started working with a lot of the DJ friends that I've networked with and met while I was actually bartending and waitressing. And I just put all my all into practicing and making it happen and becoming who I am today. Get fly, stay fly, be fly. Got wings? We don't talk too much about certain things here, but uh, we're from a certain neighborhood, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very believable. Yes. Good. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that, that, I had another question. Yes. Uh, sorry, I'm just running along, guys. I just have another question. Um, the stars. Mm -hmm. How did you get the stars of your movie? Because I, even I said that behind the scenes. I said, I'm being real honest here. Um, you have some actors in your, mov in your movie, mm -hmm. a TV series. I would get it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's great. It should be a movie. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So anyway, I, you have yeah. some stars in there yes. that I feel that I have a Hollywood feel to them. Yes. And then you have some others who I feel like, you know, yeah. Regular. But for the most part, right. I was very impressed. And I thought it was, it was a great. How did you even get the get, um, get them on board? Yeah, I did all the casting myself because okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you know your story so well, you know what you're looking for. Right. Um, and Jack Speaks, the lead actor, we cast him. I'll never forget the day I held the casting call. You did a in, great job. Thank you. In yeah. November of 2017. And when I wrote Mob Mentality, I like to educate and entertain. And I said, whenever you see mob shows, you always see the, the typical, you know, mobster, dark hair, dark eyes. And I said, well, when you research the, the history of Italy, all the people in Italy do not have dark hair and dark eyes. 
a lot of them have blonde hair and blue eyes. So I found a city um, in Italy it's called Torino. It's a coastal city yeah. where at least almost half of the population are blonde hair and blue eyed. And these people are 100% Italian. So when I did my research, when I was creating the show, I said my family's from Torino. Wow. And they're called the Ponte family. They all right. have blonde hair and blue eyes. And Jack, I, I described Carmine's character to a T. Yeah. So when Jack walked into the room, we were very surprised because he looked exactly like the character. Oh, okay. So we were really shocked. But you cannot allow that to take you over because it doesn't mean they're a good actor. Right. So I keep a poker face when right. I'm inside those rooms. Yeah. So I let him start the lines. And in my head, I thought to myself, oh, my God, I found Carmine on okay. the first day. Okay. And wow. it was amazing. <laughs> Anytime I may come into a party and it might not be popping or a little bit whack, I might start off with um, Chris Brown Ain't No Way or A. Marie One Thing and it just gets people's attention again and it just takes the party. I just take the party from there basically. Um, I've done it at parties before and it definitely, that's those are two tracks that everybody just like, oh! <laughs> Season is now activated for the regular season. Some of y'all went to cuff season a little early. I be knowing, I be knowing y'all. Cuffing season is on. Especially with music like this, Dreezy, Richard T. Payne. I can't get cuffed though, I don't know why. <laughs> Can't come hug me, right? The radio boy. I'll be on my couch though. To get back to it, you know, people might say, you know, like you said before, you're not of this. How could you write that? Well, Roots is written by a man that wasn't of that. People think it was one guy written Roots, right. but it was actually a Caucasian man, a white man that actually wrote Roots. Right. right. First. Then the other gentleman, Alexander, he said he wrote it, but it was a riff that he went to court. Right. He was like, oh, wait, be quiet because it was plagiarism. Okay. That's a whole other story. story. Right. A whole story. Right. right. But it's an example. Yeah. Right. Let's get back into that. Right. But oh, we got the we shirts. Got... Oh, all right. Oh, Show yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a clothing shirts. line for Mob Mentality. Our fans and supporters have really just loved um, what we were doing so much that we started selling t shirts and they just sold out. And since then, we've just been. Uh, we have a full clothing line now, joggers and sweatpants and T-shirts and hoodies and track suits, <laughs> everything. Excellent. Uh, now, as we just wrap this up, I want yeah. people to know, like, where could they see the, the series and Absolutely. what's happening with it right now? So where, we just... What and where Sean Mena, Kevin Lawrence in the series? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. have to talk oh, about yeah, that. I need a, a cameo. <laughs> well, we just finished the red carpet premiere on December 18th. We held it at HV Theater. We sold it out. Um, 500 people attended. We sold tickets from 50 to $77, and the place was packed wall to wall. Um, so Mob Mentality's next stop is going to be pitching. We're okay. going to start pitching it in February of 2020 to streaming services and cable networks. And anyone who hasn't seen the trailer can go to mobmentality.tv and watch it. You can okay. also follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Mob Mentality the Series. And we're your friends, right? We're, we're your friends, right? Well, we have to be good friends <laughs> now if we're not already. Maybe I'll block you guys. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> Excellent. We might try to find out about that angel gift. <laughs> yeah. Once me. again, pleasure. <laughs> pleasure meeting you, Isis. Thank Isis you so Shana. much. Yes. Excellent. Thank Excellent. Pleasure. Great Thank trailer. Thank Thanks you. for coming out. And that's been 100 Proof, baby. We're keeping it 100. Thank you. <laughs>